I asked you guys on Instagram to let me know of any questions that you guys may have and so I'm gonna be pulling them up and honestly there's literally so many goddamn questions which is hella fucking dope but at the same time there's literally over 500 comments and my intentions were to answer every single question but now that I look at it I think I'm gonna go ahead and choose the questions that are mostly asked if that makes any sense very first question is such a lit ass question honestly because this question relates to me so much do you recommend a gym buddy and 110 percent yes if you kind of get nervous to go to the gym and you also kind of hesitate hesitate fuck why is that word so hard to say if you have a hard time getting yourself to go to the gym because of the fact that you feel a little bit nervous because of the fact that you feel a little bit scared i would say yes try to find a gym buddy but with that goes in to are they going to be holding you back or are they going to be helping you and pushing you to basically do your 200% best at the gym. I would recommend finding somebody who has experience at the gym already or I would find somebody who is super super motivated and determined and you guys have similar probably body goals trying to get healthy or anything like that. That way somebody is pushing you. Try to find somebody who is like super super dead ass serious about the gym because when you find somebody who's like kind of like on edge and not really serious about going to the gym you may hit them up and be like hey are you trying to go to the gym and they may be like honestly no and then if that's the person that you're depending on going to the gym with then there's a possibility that you may not go as well because you're gonna feel a little bit scared and a little bit nervous to go by yourself I would just recommend finding somebody who has the similar interests the same mindset the same goals that way you both can can succeed and strive together at the gym and the most frequently asked question that I always get is how do you stay motivated and so to be completely honest in the beginning I find that a lot of people also with myself we have a hard time staying consistent and going to the gym and I think it goes down to with the progress that you see when you're starting and you're really really trying to make a change it's kind of discouraging and it's a little bit hard as well when you're putting in so much work and month after month you're not really seeing a lot of changes and you're like seeing the slightest and smallest bits of changes and I feel like that's what was hard for me because I would go to the gym and I would put in so much work and I would want to give up because I was like what the fuck I'm doing so much and nothing is happening but you have to remember that with every day that you go and work out with every day that you're eating healthy all of that hard work is is gonna pay off in the long run I have been working out for almost two years exactly like consistently every single day trying my absolute best to eat the healthiest that I can I literally only drink water and of course like my amino acids like my supplements and so now two years into it of being super consistent comparing it to when I first started it was a little bit discouraging at first just because you know you want to see the instant changes you want to see the progress right away you have to remember that every single day counts and now two years into it being super consistent I find that it's a lot easier and I'm really really happy that I stuck with it because now that I am seeing progress and I feel like the way that I want to look I'm getting closer you know to my physique goal to the way that I want to look I just want to see more progress and with the progress that I see and the results it helps with staying consistent because I know that with all the time that I spent in the two years staying consistent it paid off and so now that I'm here in the present time it keeps me motivated if you're a beginner look for somebody or something to inspire you look for someone to motivate you follow people who are basically gonna motivate you to get out of bed and go and hit the gym if you see their Instagram post if you see their snapchat making progress personally I also use myself as my own motivation for the most part it's just basically the results that keep me going because I want to feel better and I want to try to keep looking my best you know if that makes any sense I don't want to sound like all like conceited or whatever but that is what basically helps me all right so this next question is actually really really good what's your best tips for bulking you look so good first of all thank you and so for bulking I have been actually slowly but surely bulking myself and so my biggest tip and my only tip for
for bulking is don't go and follow all of these Instagram people and YouTube people because I feel like when people bulk, they go for like the dirty bulk, which is something that I don't think is the best thing to do. With bulking, it is a lot easier to go for the dirty bulk route. People usually think it's like um, basically like an open door to literally eat whatever the fuck they want because they're bulking. And so with me personally, it is a little bit tough because when you're eating healthier, the calories aren't as dense as like the calories calories in a burger compared to like if you make rice and beans and your veggies and whatever the fuck you want at home you know so it is a little bit harder in my opinion to bulk when you're doing it the healthier way rather than going fucking balls to walls and eating literally everything in sight in and out oreos ice cream i feel like with that it's kind you're literally setting yourself up to have it be for no reason extra hard when you start trying to lean out why would you want to eat like that and make it harder for yourself when you're gonna start your cut you know and usually when people cut that means that they cut back down on their calories they do a little bit more cardio and they're usually eating more healthy so the way that I take it is I still eat pretty healthy for the most part if I do want to have a cookie I'll have a cookie personally with me I go for the yeah this is is gonna be a fucking bitch to bulk but it's gonna be worth it at the end I'm still keeping track of what I'm eating I'm still keeping track of my macros I'm making sure that I hit my calories I'm making sure that I'm pretty close to hitting my macros a little over a little under whatever is okay and I find that with that you're gaining more lean mass rather than yes gaining mass but also <laughs> gaining fat along with it like extra fat but it's all up to you everybody takes different journeys but that's the way that I'm doing it and that's what I find has helped with keep my stomach pretty flat so that's like pretty much my biggest and only tip for bulking fuck what the internet is saying you know like it seems like a cool thing to like I'm eating pizza haha <laughs> I can eat whatever I want like but it's not that healthy and you're gaining extra weight that you wouldn't if you just still stuck with mainly eating healthy if that makes any sense all right so i also see a lot of questions asking about how to grow the booty i have been hitting legs so fucking hard lately and i have been seeing the best progress i don't want to like toot my own horn but in my opinion i feel like the progress has been fucking booming and it's fucking encouraging as fuck because obviously we're going to the gym to see progress i've just been fuck the bullshit i ain't gonna do no damn leg extensions i ain't gonna do no fucking basically isolated movements i basically just stuck with the compound movements hip thrusts are key squats are key deadlifts are key the hack squat machine is key and with all of those i literally go heavy as fuck for the most part also another key movement that i've been doing for a while now that when i first started doing it i think it's called the hip abductor and with that i I have seen a lot of improvement and with that I also go pretty heavy and the only isolated exercise that I do are the cable kickbacks for the glutes I've just been pushing myself the hardest that I can I will just push myself to do what I think I can't do and I just push myself honestly that's why I never do any at-home leg workouts just because I feel like you'll see more progress and more gains with lifting heavy and and I do have a lot of videos on that as well but for the most part my routine that's literally what it looks like I used to hit legs every other day but now that I've been pushing myself past my limits I've been hitting legs like every other two days so sometimes if I'm feeling like I want to sweat a lot I will do yes still a challenging weight but not super super heavy for me and I will increase the repetitions that I am doing and in between sets I'll keep moving so like I'll do some resistant band work with all of that tied in together and with consistency and consistency with mainly eating healthy and consistency with doing everything that I can pretty much every single day and trying my best. I feel like that 
that's how I've been seeing the most progress. So basically with that, fuck the bullshit. Fucking lift as heavy as you can. Push yourself. You think you're trying hard? Nah, fuck that. Push even harder. Stay consistent with your eating. Stay consistent with sleeping. Stay consistent with staying hydrated. And then with time, you're gonna be like, wow, I fucking did it and I'm seeing progress. And then hopefully your progress will keep you motivated to keep pushing yourself past your limits and to keep literally progressing at the gym.